Hi, Harvest Chapel family. My name is Cassidy Weaver. I'm a senior childhood education major at SUNY Fredonia, and I've been attending Harvest Chapel for about three years now. If you're wondering why the background is different today, it's because I'm currently back at home with my grandma about four hours southeast of you all in Montrose, PA. The passage for today's Advent devotional comes from Matthew chapter 1, verses 18 through 23. Now the birth of Jesus Christ took place in this way. When his mother Mary had been betrothed to Joseph, before they came together, she was found to be with child from the Holy Spirit. And her husband Joseph, being a just man and unwilling to put her to shame, resolved to divorce her quietly. But as he considered these things, behold, an angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream, saying, Joseph, son of David, do not fear to take Mary as your wife, for that which is conceived in her is from the Holy Spirit. She will bear a son, and you shall call his name Jesus, for he will save his people from their sins. All this took place to fulfill what the Lord had spoken by the prophet. Behold, the virgin shall conceive and bear a son, and they shall call his name Emmanuel, which means God with us. This passage is a reminder that Jesus is given as a gift to us. God didn't have to send his son, but he chose to send his son, Jesus, to save us, his people, from our sins. This is a perfect time to remember and be grateful that Jesus saved and still saves us. He saves us from lies and traps that the enemy sets up for us. He saves us from potentially harmful situations that we aren't even aware of. He saves us from ourselves and the destructive patterns and situations we know so well. He saves us from our miry bogs, redeems us from them, and uses them to do work in us. And ultimately, he saves us from the fiery pit that we would end up in if Jesus hadn't come. In John 12, 46, Jesus tells us, I have come into the world as light, so that whoever believes in me may not remain in darkness. Today, I encourage and challenge you to remember that Jesus and our salvation are gifts from God. Take a moment to think of all the times and ways that Jesus has saved you. Then give praise to God for all of these things. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year.